but we're gonna be drinking a lot of wine over the next few days. Maybe a few breweries, lots of hikes. Hope you're ready. Cheers to that. Good. It's so beautiful here. You can see why this is such a popular place. It's gorgeous. Welcome to the Finger Lakes. This has been kind of high on our bucket list for travels. We love wine. We love beautiful scenery. We've heard the Finger Lakes offer so much for both of those things. We're starting off our trip at our Harvest House for the evening. So not only are we getting to wine taste, but we're also getting to camp here. This is Shell Drake Vineyards. It has beautiful views right overlooking Cayuga Lake. It could not be prettier here. I'm so excited to be able to kind of fall asleep to this in the background. And we don't even have to worry about driving when we're done here. We're getting three flights because they have so many wines that were so unique sounding. This region, I believe, is known similarly to the Old Mission Peninsula Traverse City wine area of Michigan for their white wines. They definitely do have red, as I'm trying a Pinot Noir here, but I think their white wines really shine. I don't really like white wines, but for some reason I like ice wines and late harvest wines, which take a lot more effort to produce, and they're usually on the sweeter side. I can't wait to try this because it's got 11% late harvest in it, and that sounds crazy to me. That's delicious. Mm, good. There you go. I saved you some. Thanks. It's a balance, but the sweetness is on the finish, right? Mm. We could probably get a bottle of that. Much, how much, how much, how much, how much, how much? $14 a bottle. That's it? $14. The other bottle I really liked was $68 a bottle, so that one we're gonna pass on. <laughs> but $14 I can get behind. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. What was that? This is an unfiltered Pinot Noir. Unfiltered. French oak. Mmm, this is good. I don't love this one. It's ice wine. It's a little too sweet for me. This one's for you. I'll take that. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Just getting ready for bed. Part of my nighttime routine is I always read right before bed. But I was just saying how like lovely it is that we're at a vineyard right now and I'm like in my bed, in my pajamas, reading my book, all comfy and cozy. I think one of the best parts about RV life is that you have your bed with you everywhere you go and all of your things. You're always home. It doesn't matter if we're at a truck stop, a Walmart, or a Harvest Host Day. We're home. So now I'm going to read my book. I am reading Braiding Sweetgrass. This was Dennis's recommendation. He read this book as well. It's a Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teaching of Plants. And I just finished a really great book called Breathe by James Nestor. We'll have a link to some of our favorite books. We're avid readers. Yeah, this is a really good one. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Buddy. What is it? Is this what you want, Ollie? Is that what you want? It's a good boy. Yeah, you're so excited. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Stay. Here we go. We don't feed him wet food very often. It's kind of like a treat. He's on a special urinary diet. But when we do, Every single can we open in the house, he's like, oh my God, is that cat food? Normally he's poorly disappointed, but we gave him a treat today. Good Delicious. Job. 
Oh, that happens. Breakfast is served. I love it. I've done half of my hair, not the other half. Still in the process of getting ready. But when breakfast is hot, you eat. We've eaten salads now for years with our breakfast. It's such a great way to just get extra greens and nutrients in your morning, which is a very important way to start your day. Get a little wild for your next breakfast. Have a salad with it. I promise you won't regret it. We're gonna quickly finish our breakfast and we're gonna hit the town to explore some more. We finally made it out of the RV came wine tasting because let's be honest if you're coming to the Finger Lakes chances are you're coming to wine taste there are literally hundreds of different vineyards and wineries that you can visit in this area so you're kind of 50 50 on your experience here for vineyards there's some really great ones there's some pretty mediocre ones and it's kind of a gamble because the reviews on Google for them most of them are above 4.2 they have around the same review numbers so it's really hard to tell which is great so that's why it's always good to ask a local. We came to Damiani Cellars because that was recommended to us by a local. And like most of the vineyards in the area that specialize in white wines because of the short growing season and the fluctuating climate here in this region, Damiani has chosen to focus on red wines. So we got a red flight to start and then we are going to choose a glass based on which one we like the most. We're red wine drinkers, that's our preference, although we are very open to any good wine. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited about this because white is not normally my go-to. But you cannot beat these views. We are overlooking the lake. The drive in this area is just beautiful with all the fall changing leaves. We passed a waterfall on the way here, just on the drive. It's a beautiful area for sure. Yes, that is a plastic container that I used to have on my desk when I was a teacher to keep my pens organized. And yes, these are plastic cups. <laughs> so it's not exactly the most luxurious or elegant experience for our flight tasting. But it served its purpose. We were able to dial in which one of the reds was our favorite. I ended up going with the Sole Itera. Delicious, full bodied, a little bit of pepper, some like chili notes on the nose I'm into it and it's in glass this time <laughs> we took a break from all of the wineries we came for beer just a stone throw away was two goats brewing it is amazing vibes we're right overlooking the lake the sun is setting also they have a special sandwich called beef on weck which is like a roast beef sandwich with a creamy sauce. They have horseradish. They have a house-made roll here. Look at that roast beef. No trip to the Finger Lakes would be complete without visiting Watkins Glen State Park. It's one of the most famous state parks here in New York, and I'm pretty sure in just a few seconds we're going to see why. The Gorge Trail, which we're about to go on in one mile span, has 16 different waterfalls. And right now, with all of the leaves changing, I have a feeling it is going to be breathtaking. Absolutely beautiful. This is a very, very busy trail. 
so to beat the crowd and hopefully get all of these views without having to navigate the puddles and the people on the very slim walkways, I suggest coming early, first thing in the morning. We're here on a weekend as well, which never helps. Weekdays definitely tend to be less busy, but you can see why this is such a popular place. It's gorgeous. We raced from our hike at Watkins Glen State Park, which was just incredible. What a beautiful place. If you're going, make sure you give yourself ample time because it's it really is beautiful and wear the proper shoes. Rookie mistake, I wore my gray mesh sneakers and every puddle I stepped in. My shoes have seen better days now. But we raced from Watkins Glen State Park because we had reservations for a tasting at Atwater Vineyards. It's right next door to Two Goats Brewing where we were last night. So beautiful views right overlooking Lake Seneca. And this is a very good spot for sunset because it is west facing. There's Adirondack chairs out of there. It's just beautiful. We were hoping to do a tasting. That's what we had reservations for. Reservations are highly recommended if you're coming to this area and plan to do wine tastings. Unfortunately, we were late for our tasting that we booked in advance and they were about to shut down. So we didn't get a tasting, but their outdoor patio stays open later. So we were able to grab a glass of wine we're sitting out on the Adirondacks overlooking the vineyards and Lake Seneca. We are pulling out of Watkins Glen today and we wanna let y'all know how we messed this up. <laughs> this weekend was Indigenous Peoples Day. So that means it was a three day weekend for a lot of folks. And this place was packed Every single site had someone on it while we were here. But today, on Monday, there is literally not one person, tent camper, or RV here in the entire campground. It's like mind-blowing. Usually, as full-time RVers, we try to roll in on the off days. Like, we'll show up on a Monday and stay through the week at a place. That way we avoid the kind of weekend warrior crowd. But no. Live and you learn, but now we're out of here and there's no one else here. I wish I was staying, but we're not. <laughs> we're, gonna hit the, we're gonna hit the dump station and then we're gonna do a 45 minute drive into Ithaca. We made it to our next camping spot, which is Taganic State Park. It's a very popular state park and a perfect spot to enjoy the area of Cayuga Lake. Thank you. 
came and did the Gorge Trail today, which gets you up close and personal to the falls. But if you prefer, there's also an overlook we went to last night that gives you really great views of the falls from a much further vantage point. But this Gorge Trail is beautiful with the fall leaves right now and walking through the canyon and getting so close to this waterfall is so beautiful. I think it's three quarter miles, so like just under two miles if you do it out and back. And this isn't the only waterfall you can explore in the area. There's also Buttermilk Falls. Robert J. Tremon State Park also has waterfalls to enjoy. So there's no shortage of outdoor natural beauty to enjoy. You don't have to just stick with wine tasting if you're coming to the Finger Lakes. This area has totally grown on me over the past few days. At first, I, I wasn't sure really what to expect. I kind of thought it was gonna be a bit overrated, but it's so beautiful here, but Listening to the waterfall also is reminding me how badly I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so we're gonna book it back. And there is a fun market this afternoon that we're gonna be exploring. Where'd you go? I feel so much better. <laughs> I barely made it, guys. Barely made it. <laughs> but I am I'm better now. Now it's Dennis's turn. He's over there tap oh, no. dancing. I'm dancing. <laughs> yes, this is how I look when I have to pee. I've been old it since the waterfall. As soon as we walked up to the big waterfall, I was like, oh, guess I should have went before we got on the hike. But I didn't have to jog three quarters of a mile back to the office though, like somebody just saying. <laughs> and I think rain might be coming. I really hope not because I want to go to the market. We're going to go to the market, whether it's rain or not. Luckily, the rain stayed away yesterday. We were able to go to Trumansburg Farmer's Market, which happens every Wednesday from 4 to 7 p.m. Yesterday was supposed to be a special event where they had different cider companies coming, but it ended up only being two different cider places. But they had wine and beer, lots of different fresh vegetables and meats to choose from. There was a guy who had like 40 different types of garlic cloves for sale. It was so cool to see. I didn't even know that many varieties existed. So we ended up stocking up on a few things and we also were able to meet two of our subscribers here on YouTube. Jeff and Martha ended up seeing us at Watkins Glen and said hello, introduced themselves. And so we reconnected at the farmer's market yesterday and we had a really nice time just catching up with them. So we didn't vlog much at the farmer's market because we were really just enjoying our time with them and getting to know them. We get a lot of people here lately asking like, oh, I wish I would have known that you were coming to this area. I didn't know you were in town. I thought I saw your RV the other day, but your videos say that you're here or here. We always keep our videos behind for safety purposes, really, just so that the whole world doesn't know where we're at at any given moment. Our Instagram stories are also behind for that same reason, but we do give more real-time updates to our patron community. So if you are interested in joining our patron community, getting to know us on a more intimate level, staying up to date with us in more real time, we will have a link to join there. We really appreciate your ongoing support and we look forward to getting the opportunity to get to know you better. But we are heading out of the Finger Lakes today. We loved our time here. It really surprised us in so many ways. It's absolutely beautiful and there are so many fun vineyards and breweries to explore. We honestly didn't get to explore nearly as many as we would have liked, but Jeff and Martha were able to visit a lot more than us and two of their favorites that they highly recommend so that if you're coming here, you can make sure to go to them is Dr. Constantine Frank and Herman J. Weimer. They said they have absolutely incredible Rieslings and Reds. So definitely add that to your wine tasting bucket list. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments if there's any of your favorite vineyards we need to experience when we come back or any things that you recommend for others to visit on their trip here. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. But today, on Monday, it's Monday, right? Thanks. Oh my God. Please don't break anything.